Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Cuddy Banks. Now, Cuddy Banks was a San Jose rapper who was steadily on his grind, man. Dude had his own clothing company, was doing his thing. He had some great collabs, man. He had that true West Coast funk sound, man. It was a, a nice collaboration of what cats are doing in music today and the old school G-Funk West Coast sound, man. He, he made a great mesh of those sounds, right? Now, sad to say, Cuddy Banks lost his life, man, in a senseless shooting incident at a bank. That was the headline, man. We did a video about this a couple of months back, and, man, it made national headlines because it was such a brazen attack. I mean, who shoots somebody at a bank? You know that there's cameras in a bank. You know that there's cameras at the ATM in a bank. You know that the streets around a bank got cameras. So it had to be something crazy. Well, the last video we did, we talked about the fact that a dude by the name of Isaiah Rapinha was arrested for the murder of Cuddy Banks. Now, this story is starting to play out like some movie stuff. I am not kidding, man. This is crazy. Now, before we get to all the specifics, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about this Cuddy Banks situation. First and foremost, rest in peace to Cuddy Banks. I love his song, that collab that he did with the dude Big Mike and his other homeboy, uh, Third or whatever his name is, man. That was a that was a nice song, man. I, I'm not even gonna lie, man. Dude, dude had some really. I mean, he had some real good bangers, man. He had some talent in this rap game, is what I'm trying to say. Now, in his case, there. There was national news this week because there was a second suspect that was found. Now, the second suspect that was found was a young lady. Now, the lady that they found actually orchestrated this whole Cuddy Banks shooting situation and murder, according to police and news sources. Now, this is wild. When I say this story is wild, you won't even believe it. So, man, let's dig into it. So, a young lady by the name of Amanda Young, right? And it's crazy that her name is Young. But regardless, a young lady by the name of Amanda Young actually is being is being accused of orchestrating the whole Cuddy Banks shooting situation. Now, for those of you who don't remember, Cuddy Banks is a San Jose rapper who was in San Mateo. And he was just visiting the bank, probably trying to, you know, get his transactions on, make sure the money's right, or drop off some dough. You never know what he was doing, right? Now, as he's in the bank, a gentleman shows up in a black hoodie, just out of place, out of nowhere, and starts shooting. I think he shoots Cuddy Banks like five times, and you know, it's just it, it was a done deal from there, man. He, he lost his life, sad to say, right? Now, the male suspect was apprehended a few weeks ago, who happened to be a gentleman by the name of Isaiah Rupinha, right? Now, Isaiah Rupinha had a brother by the name of Louis Rupinha, who lost his life in a road rage shooting in Southern California last year. Now, Louis Rapinha's girlfriend is Amanda Young. Now, Amanda Young is the 29-year-old lady who is facing homicide and conspiracy charges after she allegedly participated in a revenge plot killing to the Bay Area rapper. So they're saying that Cuddy Banks was the one responsible for the road rage shooting of Louis Rapinha, Isaiah Rapinha's brother. I know, please stay with me. So Amanda Young, to put it simple, Amanda Young, it, it was the girlfriend, longtime girlfriend of Louis Rapinha. Louis Rapinha's brother is the gentleman who allegedly shot and killed Cuddy Banks in, in, in the bank. Now, when the attack happened and the news story broke and I dropped that video, I've said this in this in this in that video and in the follow-up video. It just didn't make sense, man. They're saying that he had a white Mercedes Benz SUV. Who in the world would go and pull a, would show up and, and and orchestrate a murder with a white SUV that's a Mercedes SUV? People are gonna remember that car a week later, two weeks later, three weeks later. It's a it's a luxury vehicle. You know, it stands out. The whole idea most of the time, and I'm not saying this is what somebody should do, and I'm not giving advice to do it. The most times, especially, let's say, in movies, we'll use that example. It's a car that people use cars that blend in. You know what I mean? That way it's easy, It's hard. To, it's 
easy to forget them. You know, you have a kind of an idea, but you don't know. You know, there's so many cars that have similar body types that are just regular cars. So that didn't make sense, right? Then he shot Cuddy Banks at a bank, man, which didn't make sense at all. Like, every there's uh, there's stipulations with every bank. They have cameras all around the bank, down the street from the bank. That's why, you know, it's like almost impossible to pull off a bank robbery these days. You know what I mean? Because there's cameras everywhere as you're pulling up with your car to the bank, all over, all over the bank. So for uh, somebody to walk into a bank and shoot somebody, no matter if they got a hoodie on or whatever, they got to know that they either at a point where they just don't give a care or they know that they're going to get caught and it's worth, the juice is worth the squeeze to them. You know what I'm saying? So in this situation, obviously it was a lot of emotions involved in the shooting and that explains it. And that's allegedly what the cops are putting out there with Isaiah Rapinia. They're saying that he did perform this killing because he, you know, it was a revenge killing for his brother. This is the twist. According to the California Highway Patrol, who conducted an investigation on, on Louis Rapinia's murder, Cuddy Banks wasn't even involved in the shooting death of, of uh, Louis Rapinia. So the gentleman who shot Cuddy Banks did it for no reason, man. This is, I told you, man, this is a crazy story, man, and it has a wild twist. According to news sources, and the San Mateo police, and in conjunction with the California Highway Patrol, Amanda Young allegedly orchestrated all the events that led up to Cuddy Banks losing his life. Amanda Young is said to have got her friends and crew and everybody in Rapinha's family together to do their own street investigation, which led them to Cuddy Banks, man. And Cuddy Banks had no part to do in this shooting and the murder of Louis Rapinha, man. So Amanda Young is looking at a lot of time. Like currently she is locked up in the San Mateo jail. And as an inmate in the San Mateo jail, you can look up her information. And it basically says this, that she's got two charges. She's got conspiracy to commit a crime and she's got PC murder. So no bail on either of those charges. And her next court date is coming in on May 10th. So, Amanda Young was the one who actually got everybody riled up and sent them after Cuddy Banks, and they were dead wrong, man. And I hate to use that analogy, but they were wrong, man. They were wrong in this situation. And that goes to show, man, trying to do the police job sometimes from the street is just not a wise thing to do, man. And I guess they got anxious because, you know, it looked like the whoever the shooter for Louis Rapinha was going to get away with it. But, man, they used all the wrong resources and a whole bunch of different things that didn't lead up to the right conclusion. Sad situation. So Isaiah Rapinha basically went out on a dummy mission and pretty much sacrificed his future and his life for something that really didn't even happen. And for the fa fans and family and friends of Cuddy Banks, they lost a friend, family member, and you know what I'm saying, a, a nice, uh, a decent artist in the rap game. So, man, this is all bad. This is just all bad man so as the more details come out in this story we're gonna see what goes on with amanda young and with isaiah rupinia because isaiah rupinia is still in oklahoma i guess he's in some type of federal custody and they got to turn him over to san mateo police in california but as of now they've already extradited uh amanda young to san mateo and she's in jail currently man crazy situation Wild story to say the least, man. What do you guys think, man? Do you think that maybe the police got it wrong and maybe Cuddy Banks was involved in this? I mean, they have no reason to take him to say he's not involved in it at this point, especially with him gone. And what do you guys think about this whole Amanda Young and Isaiah Rapinha putting together this elaborate plot that was wrong based on faulty knowledge and everything man now with that this has been your boy big man do me a favor make sure you hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time i drop this hot content and we out of here peace